As the last of the sort of RenderWorks modes videos, uh, we're going to be looking at artistic RenderWorks. So in your save views, just click the 2.2 artistic RenderWorks layer. There we are. Now, we just have two quick examples here. This is the same view we've been looking at in the exterior repeatedly. These are both set to artistic RenderWorks directly. They're not set to a style, they're just set to artistic RenderWorks. However, you can set artistic styles as RenderWorks styles. What we'll do here in the resource browser, right click in a blank spot, choose new resource, and then new RenderWorks style. As you can see here, we're going to change the type from realistic, if it didn't already, to artistic. An artistic RenderWorks style only has two tabs to it. It has the artistic style, and then it has the actual background that you'll be using. The point of it having just a background is so that you can change this generally to HDRI white. You would normally leave this as a solid white background. You wouldn't add RenderWorks background to it. It wouldn't generally appear properly. But the artistic style is where you set basically what it's going to be. Uh, these options down here are all variants of hidden line. They'll basically do a hidden line render first. It'll try to give you a little preview here of what it's going to look like. But it will look different depending on what you've got in your model. And the options up here are just the more abstract types. Uh, you have a little less control over this. The art mode, you pick an image. And you can use images that are already in the document, but mainly it's designed to pick a particular image and just stay with that and do that to the, all the objects in the document. Cartoon is self-explanatory. Uh, you have control over the edge thickness and the color of the edges, but otherwise it's going to try to pull the color or the texture from the objects themselves. So we can actually do this. We'll do cartoon artistic style. And click OK. Click on the viewport on the top. And then scroll down. And under the background rendering style, we won't pick artistic renderworks. We'll pick renderworks style and then cartoon artistic style. The viewport will go out of date. And then we'll scroll up and click update. These renders generally don't take very long, and most of the time uh, it's just the hidden line going on underneath that's taking the time. So however long you had your hidden line take, these artistic modes will take it first and then they'll pop into their artistic mode. There we are. And as you can see, you've got textures and colors and the edges. So it looks a lot like the OpenGL edges mode, but it did include our textures. So we have our transparencies and we have our reflective pool and things like that. So artistic mode is kind of a combo of the other modes. However, Separate from the artistic actual styles, there's a few called Shaded Polygon and Final Shaded Poly, and we'll take a look at those now. The artistic render work styles, you can play with it if you like. They're fairly easy to figure out. They only have one setting, color, and then style, so they're pretty straightforward. Select that lower viewport, and then for the background render, we're going to choose Shaded Polygon. Select that, then scroll back up and update that second viewport. And there's Shaded Polygon. Truth be told, it's an older version before we really had all the RenderX modes and before OpenGL had draw edges and had the ability to show textures constantly. It's not used that very often anymore. It's an interesting artistic style, and it's good if you're looking for that sort of look, but you don't have a lot of control over it. The colors of the objects are sort of selected automatically for you based on either the color of the object or the color of the texture that was on it. So normally you would go after either the art look where you have direct control over the textures and colors or OpenGL for a quick look like this. The rendering mode also takes a little longer than hidden line. So it can be beneficial if that's what you're looking for, but just so you're aware of all the other rendering modes and which ones you can use. In the next video, which will be the last video for this model file, I believe, we'll be discussing RenderWorks backgrounds in a little more detail. We covered it a bit in the RenderWorks styles section, but we're going to cover them specifically now.